In this video, I'm going to decommission the exchange server. This is my last exchange server in an organization. So decommission is not a straightforward step actually because it is something similar to uninstall an application but there will be a lot of errors or a lot of requirements that Microsoft Exchange ask in between to remove it in a proper way. So there are two options to remove an Exchange server from your organization. The first step is to properly decommission it and the second option you will see as an article after this video. So based upon your interest you can follow one of so let us begin log into the exchange server then make sure you close all the dependencies like uh, exchange management shell then close the admin center close the powershell then go to the control panel then like you uninstall a program that you installed you can approach to uninstall the exchange server so let's click next now you can see that there is an error and a lot of things is listed so this you have to read this and run each command that recommended by exchange uninstall wizard and make sure you done completely then you can try again this then you will be able to uninstall your exchange easily so I'm going to follow this message from the exchange uninstall wizard and try to decommission my exchange most of the administrator they drop the decommission process at this stage and go for the easiest option that is going to explain in the uh, article so I recommend you to watch I recommend you to follow this approach because this is a proper way of decommissioning the exchange server so i run get mailbox command on rq public folder and arbitration and i can see that there are many mailboxes available in arbitration but rq and public folder didn't return anything so i have nothing to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to disable the get mailbox arbitration and you can see that i added an additional switch that is disable last arbitration mailbox allowed which means that this is going to be my last exchange server if you read the exchange on install wizard you will see this message is particularly there and i have encountered an error that an offline address book is there i have to disable it so you can see that there is an offline address book is accessed so I need to remove the offline address book before I disable the arbitration uh, mailbox. So let me do that first. Then confirm the action. Once you remove the offline address book, you can rerun the disable option for the arbitration uh, mailbox you can see only one arbitration mailbox exists at this moment we can simply run the uh, disable command and that will disable the arbitration mailbox so now we are done with the arbitration part there is no mailbox exist in the exchange server now the next is audit log you can see there is a system mailbox exist for audit log so we have to disable it so the command is disable mailbox then confirm your action that will disable all the audit log mailboxes so always recommended to rerun the command get mailbox so that you will confirm that uh, there is no more mailbox exist the next is to remove the monitoring mailbox so you can run get mailbox database name then hyphen monitoring so that you will that will display all the monitoring mailboxes that is available in the same database and same server that we are trying to move so we have to disable this there is a typo in database name and now it will be okay so we don't have any more monitoring mailbox exist in our exchange server so now finally I want to check anything else exists on my database for that I'm not going to run get mailbox database mdb01 
you can see that one discovery search mailbox exists so i want to get rid of that also in order to remove this mailbox so just to get the name i just run again the command with format list so that i can copy the discovery mailbox name from the command so it is discovery search mailbox with some unique id so let me copy it then the command is remove mailbox then enter the discovery mailbox name and confirm the action and that remove the discovery mailbox from our database so i believe we don't have any more dependencies on our on premises database so in order to confirm what i'm going to do is i will delete the database from the on premises exchange server and if you succeed in this action as you can see that it has been removed which means that there is no more dependencies related to database so it is time to retry the readiness check and that is all now you can simply click on the uninstall button and that will uninstall the exchange server from our on premises as you can see now the setup has completed and after a reboot it come as a normal server without exchange application so let us summarize what we have learned in this video decommissioning of an exchange server is not a straightforward step you may end up with many errors while decommissioning but i always recommend you to follow the steps that noticed you from an exchange uninstall wizard and make sure you decommission it properly we saw that most of the errors that comes because of the mailbox hidden mailbox exists in the database for audit log for arbitration for monitoring before you even approach to uninstall you can run these commands and make sure that you disable everything and you can try to delete the database then you can run the exchange uninstall wizard and that will make your life more easier so that is all in this video thank you for watching